Whoa, that was loud. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. My name is Jeff Aviano. Today, we're going to be looking at the MH47 Chinook. Where is it at, you ask? It's right here. And look at this badass helicopter. Another one by Skyline GTR Freak. And he has done an outstanding job in converting this model over into Grand Theft Auto 5. It replaces the Cargo Bob. And uh, I did add the handling line, as it said to do, in the README in the vehicles made or whatever and uh we're gonna get this baby up and running one thing you're going to notice about it uh if you've downloaded any of his previous models you may want to go back and you may want to download them again why is this you ask well take a look here now oh, well we'll fire the engines up there we go now we'll go inside and check it out we now have okay i'll be at one gauge right now but we have a working gauge now the attitude indicator works, see? Left, right. Very, very, very cool. All right, let's use our anti-torque pedals and get us going this way. And let's let's see what the Cargo Bob uh, replacement, that is the MH-47 Chinook. Let's see how it flies. Flies very nice. I always enjoyed flying the Cargo Bob in Grand Theft Auto V. It's a very, very nice uh, helicopter. It's always very stable. I always enjoyed that. But just look at this thing. Just look at it. I mean, it just, it's as stable as can be. But it's actually what the uh, Cargo Bob is supposed to, what, what Rockstar kind of uh, envisioned. They took, you know, a lot from the MH-47, and, uh, and that's how the Cargo Bob became what it is pretty much today. Let's do a nice turn here. Watch the power line. We're good. Watch the Unite and Preserve the Alamo Sea. All right, we're going to come over this way. And uh, actually, let's head over here to Harmony, and let's test out something that you guys love about the Cargo Bob. We all love about it, is that it's got a hook capability, and the MH-47 holds... No bar when you set it down like that. There we go. Just like you would on the cargo bod. You hit the uh, right on the D hit right on the D-pad and you're good to go. Let's pick up something that's easy to pick up actually. There's usually a lot of parked vehicles, but right there by that gas station, ah, I don't think that's gonna be a good idea. Alright, let's try to get one of these guys. Let's pick up the Dundreary Regina. Dundreary Regina, we're going for it. They're just, you know on a family uh, picnic, or not picnic, but vacation, and they're stopped here at the uh, hotel. And uh, this is uh, some repo at its finest here. If we can get forward a little more. Oh, I think our thing is hitting the, yes it is. It's hitting that. Okay, we're gonna have to use the back end of the helicopter. Actually, we'll probably pick it up from the side. It might work better. Forgot the, uh... come on. Right here. Got it. On up we go. All right. They didn't pay their, uh, they didn't pay, they didn't pay for their, uh, car payment. So we're going to pick it up and repo it. Wouldn't that be something if you, uh, witnessed somebody repelling somebody's car with a, uh, heavy lift helicopter? That would be something absolutely incredible. Look at this. It just looks so legit, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Very, very cool to have uh, realistic uh, vehicles in the game now. We are really close to that. Let's let's see if we can set it down nice and easy right here behind this house of the unsuspecting people. And just oop, nice and easy. No, add a little bit of power there. A little, a little more, a little more, and we're down. Release it. There we go. So that was good. Now let's do some uh, low-level flying in this uh, helicopter. Always love doing that, especially down here in, in the valley. And it just flies like a dream. It really does. You guys are really going to enjoy this one. I promise you that. 
So yeah, if you've downloaded any of his uh, aircraft models, you might want to go back to GTA 5 mods and re-download them because they've all been updated uh, with working gauges in them now, which is really helpful, especially when you're flying in clouds and stuff. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing shallowed out enough here to get underneath the bridge. Haven't done this one in a while. Oh, look at that. It's a deer. Drinking on the edge. Look at those deer running down there. That is so cool. Get some more speed up. Oh, watch out for the birds. Don't want a bird strike. And we're going to head around this way. So, anywho, happy Tuesday to all you guys. Hope your Tuesday is going well. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, ho, ho. And a bunch of new stuff has uh, been released. Well, not new stuff, but new updates to uh, a lot of mods I use in um, LSPDFAR has been updated. So, I get the fun part of doing all that, of uh, updating all that stuff, which I will do after this video, actually. My Cuban 800 is right up here. There he is, up on our left. So we can catch up to him without hit, slamming into the side of a frigging mountain. There he's right there. Usually you can. I need to install the... Oh, I forgot to install the realistic flying handling mod. I think I'll do a showcase on just that alone so we can see the differences. Because I don't know. Not a whole hell of a lot of differences. Um, well, I can't say that because I haven't used it yet. What am I talking about, right? Okay, well, we can't catch the Cuban 800. He's, he's going pretty fast there. But what we can do is enjoy flying this thing at low levels. I know a lot of people want to see the outside view when I fly. And let me just address that really quick. A lot of the reason why I fly inside view is because I do... Um, have my real pilot's license. Uh, I've flown real airplanes. Um, I fly a lot of flight simulators. And for me, flying is all about this perspective right here. So I can gauge what I'm doing at the controls a lot better when I'm in the interior view. Because that's what you would see as a pilot. Uh, outside view, I kind of get disoriented mainly because uh, with GTA 5, when you pitch or whenever you roll the airplane, the helicopter or airplane over you see the camera moves with it and it's kind of weird and disorienting I've never really enjoyed that I'd rather see it just pitch on its uh, axis but what are you gonna do I say we have a little fun here actually let's head down here to the uh, Vespucci Beach area and then we'll head to the airport all the people down here hello people Woo! It's like, a, it's like an air show for them. They enjoy it. Don't listen to them. Let's see how close we can get to the ground here, or to the water, without actually hitting the waves. And what you do is you kind of, in a real helicopter, and in this as well, whenever you're landing, you actually use those bottom windows to judge how close to the ground you are. Pretty low here. Now, the ultimate test is, does the MH-47 float like the cargo bob? If you just set it down in the water. Well, I, this, we're here to do a mod showcase, so let's see if that is true. So let's bring it down nice and easy. It's like a scene out of Top Gun right here. And slowly bringing in the water. No, it does not float like the cargo bob. Should have known, but what are you going to do? Let's hop out here and watch it sink to the bottom. Whoa, that was loud. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. We can see this, the, the good sea life. That sea life, though. Woo. All right, we're here at uh, Los Santos International Airport here at the helipads, and uh, it's evening time now, the night time. Let's check out the night textures, see how the uh, interior looks at night. I know a lot of you guys uh, always want to see when I'm doing a mod showcase of a vehicle, it, what, you know, it behaves like at night as far as lighting, interior, and all that stuff. Let's have a look. Very nice. Look at that. It glows, but it's not extremely bright. It's enough to see. 
and we'll lift off the ground here spin ourselves around we'll hover taxi over to this area yeah it does get a little bright if you look down it really does constrict your eyes and that's just uh what post effects and everything does in grand theft auto 5 essentially um what i mean by that is if we look down look see how dark it is on the top but if we look up it lightens up because in real life light constricts the eye that's why they use red lights in cockpits and uh in you know police cruisers and stuff because red it takes a lot uh a lot less time for your eyes to uh unconstrict essentially from bright lights so let's add a little bit of power here and and we're off so we can bring it up here and see how we can see so much better because we're not staring into bright glowing screens and i just love flying at night in this game it is so cool it is so realistic as far as uh the lighting goes but you know if we look down look see how dark it gets on the top and that's just what happens. I mean, try it out in real life, you know? If you, it, it, It's like whenever you're laying in bed and you have to get up to... Oh, shut your damn mouth. Reverse course now. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're in bed at night and you get up to go to the bathroom, you know when you turn on that bright light, you're like, Oh, God, oh, my God, it's so bright. And then when you shut it off and you go back to, um, to bed... You, you're like, it's temporary blindness almost. You can't see anything. It's because your eyes have been constricted from the uh, from the bright lights. So if you had a red light in your bathroom, it would be a lot easier on your eyes. And then when you came back out, you'd actually be able to have your night vision essentially again. If that makes sense. We're just cruising around here in uh, Los Santos. Let's head over to the uh, Vinewood Hills area and the Vinewood sign. It's always fun to see at night lit up. You see it over there on the left. And we'll flip around here. Let's do a little fun flying here. Let's see if we can get it down below this guy. Add that power in right there. And it's like right out of the scene out of Transformers. Under the bridge. 22 of 50 bridges flown under. How about that? Let's go under this one. Why not? One thing I wish the... Uh, the cargo bob had was would be searchlights. I think we touched that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> My bad. All right, let's go this way. It's all about those easy movements on the stick, but it's got a really nice handling line. I really highly recommend you opening up that vehicle's meta file or handling or whatever it is and, and replace the lines it suggests because it flies very nice without that crap fake bullshit turbulence let's go this way and have a look at the vinewood hills at night i remember whenever uh, gta 5 was coming out originally remember all those screenshots everyone we saw we saw this and you're like oh my god it's so beautiful i still get that feeling it's still beautiful still amazing look how realistic that looks that truly is something that is amazing looking beautiful 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 all right, well, I say we head back over to the helipads and in the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, helicopter because uh, it is it is fantastic. And if you're looking for a good cargo bob replacement, this is the one. I look forward to seeing a lot more like marine style skins, army skins coming out for it um, in the future. There's the what the fuck down there, WTF, with the uh, UFO crash inside of it. It's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I just really, really, really enjoyed this mod. And, and uh, you know, I was like, I don't know. I, you know, I like showcasing the airplane mods. I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see the helicopter mods, but a lot of you guys really, really wanted to see this one in particular. So there's a helipad down there. Um, so I went ahead and decided to show it as well as we'll have to we'll have to go over the uh, the Blackhawk as well. There's the helipads down there. And let's uh, let's try landing this thing from the inside view, using looking down, and judging our height off of that. So we'll shoot our left downwind here for that middle-looking helipad. That'll work nicely. And we'll start our approach in here. Start hitting that left trigger and bring ourselves down a little more. Right now, I'm not using any of the bumpers for the anti-torque. We're just letting the helicopter turn itself by using the cyclic, which is uh, using the stick. 
and we come down like this okay want to get into a hover and you'll know we're in a hover because we won't see the ground moving forward or back so let's try to get it the closest we can into this helipad a little forward more a little left stick a little right a little forward and we're gonna judge this light i'm gonna keep this light this red light i want it to be in the middle of this window there's that ground effect starting to throw us around there the torque of the engines a little forward more there we go right here and we're down look at that that wasn't bad we didn't make the H, but we were close. Let's let's be a perfectionist and let's get to the H. There we go, right here. Beautiful. And we'll get out and have a look-see at it. Just a incredible model. Look at that with that moon. Beautiful. Uh, highly recommend it. You guys are gonna love this one. It's a great replacement of the Cargo Bob if you're looking for a real-life counterpart. And. Uh, I'll see you guys next time on another uh, GTA 5 mod showcase. Take care of yourselves.